On this vote, the yeas are 223. The, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a resolution on Tuesday calling on Vice President Mike Pence to remove President Donald Trump from office by invoking the 25th Amendment. But hours earlier, in a letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Pence wrote that he opposed such a measure and said that invoking the 25th Amendment as a means of, quote, punishment or usurpation would set a terrible precedent. Pence's refusal to remove Trump from office means the Democratic-led House will move to impeach the Republican president for a second time on Wednesday on the charge of inciting insurrection after last week's deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. Trump had urged his supporters to march on the Capitol and fight as Congress worked to certify the results of the presidential election. Several Republican lawmakers, including number three House Republican Liz Cheney, daughter of former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney, as well as John Katko and Adam Kinzinger, have already come forward saying they would vote to impeach Trump on Wednesday. That came as Trump himself on Tuesday showed no remorse for his actions in his first public appearance since last Wednesday's riot. But chances are slim that Trump will be removed from office with only eight days left of his term. The House voting to impeach him would trigger a trial in the Senate, which could proceed even after Trump leaves office. The New York Times reported that Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was said to be pleased about the Democratic impeachment push. The Times said McConnell believes the impeachment effort will make it easier to purge Trump from the Republican Party.